Welcome to Intro to AP Computer Science for New AP Teachers. Um, in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and get started. So let's take a look here. Uh, let me click up here. So today I'm going to talk about what is APCSA, uh, some of the topics that are on or in the subject. I'll talk a little bit about the AP exam and a little bit about this course that you're watching right now. So first of all, what is AP Computer Science A? Well, it's a computer science course offered to high school students and it's equivalent to the first semester of college computer science. So students that take this course and do well uh, can skip their first semester of computer science studies and go right into CS2, for example. Uh, it is taught using the Java programming language. So you should probably be familiar with Java to teach this course. Uh, the topics in this course, there are 10 main topics uh, the first is primitive types, so these are integers, booleans, etc., uh, doubles, that sort of thing. Using objects, so object-oriented programming. So you notice this is using objects, we're not writing them, we're just using them at this point. And then conditionals, so if statements. Iteration, which is loop, for loops and while loop. And writing classes, so finally we get to writing classes. Now you don't have to do it in this order, you can do it in whatever order you, you prefer, but this is the order that they give it to us in. You, then we talk about arrays, um, array lists, and 2D arrays. So that's our collections of, of, of objects and, and primitives. And then also the last two topics are inheritance, again, back to uh, object-oriented programming, and of course, everybody's favorite, recursion. The AP exam uh, is pretty challenging. It is held in May, and it's marked on a scale of one to five. So I think generally speaking, three to five is considered passing. I'm making air quotes even though you can't see it. Um, so it has two sections, one multiple choice and one free response questions, which is where the students write code uh, on paper, uh, which is kind of interesting in and of itself. The multiple choice section has 40 questions. The students have one and a half hours, and this section is worth 50% of the total score. The FRQ section is four questions and that is one and a half hours also, and it is 50% of the total score. And the course that you're watching right now, the purpose, what, what this is supposed to do, is to really help new teachers get started with AP Computer Science. I've been teaching it for a few years myself, and I, this is, so I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I do have some hopefully helpful hints for uh, beginning teachers and to give you some hints on how to approach the course and maybe suggest a few approaches to units and maybe some things to you know help the students watch out for. Uh, my name is Christian Thompson and uh, if you're on Twitter you can follow me at Tokyo EdTech. I'm also on YouTube. That's probably where you're watching this. Uh, I'm also on uh, I think Instagram as well. And this started as a project for my uh, master's degree in computer science, the Georgia Tech CS6460, and they have a course called EduTech, and I chose what's called the content track, and I chose to make a teacher training course along with a student, you know, some student lessons for, uh, you know, this, this course. I really, I really like to, to, as they say, roll your own. I like to roll my own. Um, I don't like to rely on what's already out there because the answers are already out there. So I use my own stuff. I don't have quite as many problems with copying and plagiarism. And so yeah, so basically we talked about what APCSA is, uh, the topics that are included in this uh, course, a little bit about the AP exam, and a little bit about this course, the, this teacher training course that you are involved in right now. So uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Hope you find it helpful.